Now, gone are the days when it was easy to spot a fake product. The latest knockoff beauty products look just like the real thing. Yes, but whilst they might be cheap, the true cost of a beauty bargain could be much more dangerous. A warning has been issued today about fakes being sold online and our consumer editor Alice Beer and beauty expert Nadine Baggett are here to tell us more. Now, this to me is quite concerning because when, when I spoke to you earlier mm. in our little two-way and I said, oh, the, it's really hard to spot the fakes from the real... This all looks incredibly yep. convincing, doesn't it? And you think, mm. if you are a fan of a beauty product and you think you're getting a bargain, how do you spot a real from a fake? Yeah, well, these are brilliant. I mean, gone are the days where I used to have a watch. As in brilliant fakes. Brilliant fakes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, let's clarify, <laughs> exactly, clarify that. <laughs> I used to have a watch that had, well, there was actually Collier. Yeah. <laughs> and I've actually seen Gucci bags with a CH. You know, oh, G-O-C-H. Really? Um, you know, it used to be a sort of slightly comedic yes, thing yes, to yeah. have a fake. And actually, you're quite proud of your fake. Yeah. It's not funny anymore. Um, the Intellectual Property Office have done a new survey. Just don't get it on you. No, I'm okay? just going to yeah. smell it. Um, um, and they acid. found that 60% of people asked, bought fake goods. I use this regularly. 34% of people made a repeat purchase with a fake. And what shocked me most is that the most commonly purchased fake was a perfume. Oh, really? Then makeup, then skincare, then hair, hair care. I would have thought it'd be the handbag or the purse yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that. But no, it's perfume. It's something you spray over yourself. And I think here we've got to really classify and clarify the difference between a dupe, which is a really big thing on social mm -hmm. media yeah. at the moment, and a counterfeit. So a dupe is somebody, an influencer usually, de-influencing a brand and saying, if you like this, yes. have a look at this. And they will show you the, you know, the Walmart place to get a yeah. pair of Lululemon look-alike yeah. leggings. Yeah. You're buying from a legitimate um, retailer, but you're getting something that's kind of got characteristics mm -hmm. of. Yeah. So if you like jasmine in your perfume or roses in your perfume, then have a look at this um, because it smells similar. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Fill your boots. And that's I love all fine. That, that's that is all, all regulated. It's all regulated. All regulated. Oh, that's good. Okay. They yeah. are legitimate okay. purchases from a legitimate store. But when you start stepping into the counterfeit store, the market stalls, be they online or literally a market, a market store, market store mm -hmm. then you are taking a risk because I, I mean would you say yes if i offered to cover your face in in cow poo I mean, would you well, be no. up for that? No. no. If you right. told me it was yeah. going to look 10 years younger, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So shallow. <laughs> oh, literally. <laughs> Andy's prone to a skincare product. We yes. know that. But if I... <laughs> we, okay. I love a skincare product. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That can't be yeah. your jeans, yeah, yeah, yeah. surely. Yeah. It is all um, my jeans. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> don't crack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 43% of women asked said, no amount of money would let you put some random substance on my face. Mm -hmm. And yet, when you're buying... Things yeah. like this, as Nadine is going to tell you, you have no idea what is in there from urine to yeah. toxic substances that are going to leach into your skin and they must not be touched. Well, Nadine, that is a problem. And also, I'm just reading the back of this. This is a well-known oil or, a, you know, uh, imitation of a well-known oil brand that we know. And this actually says, which is quite scary, during pregnancy, apply twice daily. But this is not real. We don't know what it is, but it's still marketing yep. for... Pregnant. So what could be in it? I mean, so I mean, when I turned up this morning and I saw these, I was genuinely shocked at how good a fake they are. I thought they would be slightly dodgy, and I opened the bio oil like you and smelt it. It smells exactly mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. as yeah, it smells, yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things where you may buy a fake online or at one of those pop-up market stores, and you're going to get maybe a fragrance that doesn't last as long. You and I did an item about dupes. Yes. We love a dupe. You yeah. are such a fragrance connoisseur. But the problem is with fragrances. <laughs> you are. Genuinely, you are. I just literally <laughs> felt his chest oh, no, next to me. I was he, like, knows, okay. he knows his stuff. He could take his, my job off me. But what you're getting here is you're probably getting a fragrance that looks real. They're going to up the amount of alcohol, which is naturally an irritant. Yeah. Mm. And then they're probably going to put a cheaper version of the fragrance oils in it. Another irritant. You spray it all over, contact dermatitis, yeah. irritant dermatitis waiting to happen. I would warn you against not just fragrances, anything that goes around the eye, oh. because oh. the eye is so sensitive, yeah. and the lip. And we've got some Kylie lip kits here. Genuinely, I was speaking behind the scenes to our beauty team when Kylie lips first launched. One of the teams bought it on eBay, right? 
went in, didn't know where she was buying, thought it was a real thing, put it on, her lips went black and she couldn't get the colour off. <gasps> Uh, to scrub a lips it, before coming into this I mean, morning. It, it's so scary. Oh. And Alice, you know, you, you buy a fake jacket by a brand, you put yeah. it on, it falls apart. You, you, that's yes. what, it's a jacket. Yeah, you but sort of these are things you're putting chin. on your skin. How can I... This is blue by blur. Chanel. Or blur. Blur. Blur, blur. by Chanel. How would you I know... Uh, can you open it? How would I know that this is I fake? I was thinking normally because you have to have an address. of where you've bought it. Right, OK. Now, I think this is okay. all the key. If you are clicking on a site and you are taken to another place, look at that website. Mm -hmm. Look for, before you make a purchase, look for the, the address. Look for the reviews. There are things that websites have to have online. Mm -hmm. They have to have an address. They have to have returns policy. They have to have their reviews there if they're genuine. They have to have a padlock in the URL, yes, you know, the address. Yeah, always look for that. Look for the padlock. If none of those things are there, then please don't kid yourself. Who is going to be selling Chanel perfume, which when I started doing the calculations is about 20 quid for a couple of teaspoons? Yeah. Who's going to be selling that for a tenner? Yeah. They're not. They're just not. So when you click through and you end up on a site and it's a trader, whether they be on any of the well-known shopping sites mm. that we go on online, if they're a trader, they're a trader. Think market trader until you've got proof that they are otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I would say also, even when you go onto a big site, because I'm addicted to Amazon and I love it, you click on, look at who's selling it, because it's that link to do you recognise yeah. a reputable high street retailer or the brand, if not, don't buy. It's worrying for the brands as well. Like, yeah, how what are they the doing? Yeah, what are they doing? No, well, and that's why the Interne Intellectual Property Office uh, yeah. are all over this, because right. they are helping to protect the brands. But what I'd say is, if you love the packaging, yeah. when you put this on and walk out, nobody sees what's in your bathroom. So they just true. smell what's exactly. on yeah. you. So yeah. And if you're coming up in a rash or you smell like cats, because just, it is yeah. probably cats. Re oh, we're going to the weather, it. so we've got to be really quick. Open that box of Chanel. I think there's an immediate flaw straight away. You've had to turn it around. It wouldn't be that way yes. in the real box. You're so right. Oh, you're you so right. You're spending too much. There, 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 there we go. There we go. He's coming for you, guys. Right. Ladies, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>